Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers to brain. This is part 2 of online shopping cart project. We have opened the online shopping cart project in our visual studio. Here we have two modules. One is admin module, another one is user module. From the admin part, we are adding the projects, adding the new products, adding the creating a new category. So in this application, we have created a folder and we have named this folder as admin. To create a folder, we have to right click on this project, add new folder and name it as admin. Inside this folder, we have added a new page login.aspx. This page is used to authenticate the admin administrator of this web application. To add this page, we have what we have done is right click on the admin folder, add new item select web and web form and name it as login.aspx click on add this page will get added so when we run this page it will look like this we have a tabular structure we have login id password and a, a button which will fire the login event So when we add this page, we will only have this body structure. In this body structure, we have the form ID equal to form1, run at equal to server. Inside this form, we have added a div and inside the div, we have a table. To bring this tabular structure, to create this much gap, we have added margin equal to 200 pixel then we have a table the width of the table is 450 pixel and we have applied a style like border one pixel ridge and some color we have one table row second table row third table row four table row and five table rows in the first table row we have added a label and applied some font name font color and font weight and inside the text we have written shopping heart hyphen admin panel and we have applied the column span equal to 2 because in the second tr we are having two table data first table data is for login id and the second is for the text which the user is going to enter in the login id text box the second goes for password and the password text box and uh, we have aligned everything to center and the width we have applied 50% and 50% so that the things look better here we have the button login button and uh, we have added a HR tag in the last TR and we have also added a HR tag in the first TD so when we click on the button the login button should fire we have a lbl alert and we have changed the color to red so this is what it look like we have the first td we have a tabular structure td followed by hr tag then we have the second tr with two td third tr with two td fourth tr with two td this one is empty and this side we have a login button and then followed by hr and then we have the lbl lbl alert to show any warnings this when we click on this button the btn login underscore click event is generated as we have discussed in the first vid part of this video series we have added two keys in the web config file one is admin login id and another is admin password so we are reading those admin login id and admin password from the web config file using web config manager dot app settings to uh, use this web configuration manager we have to add this namespace using system dot web dot configuration and then using simple if else we are checking whether the what user have, en have entered is correct or not now the text login.txt equal to login id and the password.txt is equal to the password then 
we are redirecting the user towards the add new product dot page and before redirecting the user we are creating a session so that user can be authenticated we are creating a session shopping heart admin and we are and the text what we have entered in that is shopping heart admin if the username and password is incorrect we are adding a text in the lbl alert label like incorrect login id password so let's put a breakpoint over here and set a startup page okay so we have this design view now as per the web config the login id is admin and the password is 123 so let's let's first enter something incorrect now when i click on this i read the pass login id and password from the web config file and i'm getting it as admin and 123 so when i compare this the text which is entered by user is kaka and the password is also kaka so they are not matching so the user is getting redirected to the else else part and we are showing the warning like incorrect login id password so this time we are going to en enter the correct login id and password let's see what happen now we are entering in this and the session we have created a session now as you can see the value of the session is shopping heart admin and this session we are going to use in other pages now from here we are going to redirect to admin add new products dot aspx so press f5 so as you can see we are inside the admin panel so this was how we have created a login page for our admin module the next part like adding a new product and add add edit category will continue in part 3 of this video series thanks for watching